Very few of us can imagine Christmas without the Queen's speech, but this year, for the first time in most people's lives, there'll be a King's speech instead. King Charles will now have to make his first broadcast Christmas speech, and we'll all be watching closely to see how he does. Will he mention Meghan and Harry? Will he drastically alter the style of the broadcast favoured by his mother? And where will he choose to film his thoughts and wishes for the holiday period? The late Queen's speeches were iconic. From her outfit, to the setting, and even the photos and objects surrounding her, every detail of her broadcasts was carefully planned. King Charles already made a televised speech when his mother died and he became the king. That might give a clue as to how he'll tackle this Christmas address. His first 100 days have been eventful and not always in a good way. Recent controversies in the family have caused some to even question the long-term future of the monarchy itself. Harry and Meghan, his own son and daughter-in-law, have just released a six-part Netflix series in which they accused him of lying and said the royal family briefed the press against them so as to destroy them. They called his family and the wider institution racist. Might he react to these serious allegations? The recent incident in the palace which caused Lady Susan Hussey to quit over remarks she allegedly made to charity worker Ngozi Fulani only makes the issue of racism even more important for the palace to deal with. If he doesn't address racism allegations head on, might the king choose to do so more broadly, possibly by including references to diversity in his words and the accompanying footage that's often used in these speeches? Harry and Meghan's series also accused the Commonwealth, of which Charles is the head, of being racist and a reinvention of the British Empire. So we can maybe expect the king to discuss the Commonwealth in a way that answers that accusation too. And when it comes to family relations, it's not just Meghan and Harry who might be feeling left out. The king's own brother, Prince Andrew, is no longer a working royal and probably won't get a mention. Perhaps the best way to deal with all of these family problems is for the king to mention the love he and others in the family had for his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. She will certainly feature in his speech, and in mentioning the closeness of the family in response to her death, he might be able to strike a balance between his new roles both as the head of the family and as the monarch. Undoubtedly, King Charles will mention the achievements and important work done by all of the working royals and the massive loss felt by the entire nation and wider world when his mother died. What do you think he should say? Should he directly counter Harry and Meghan's aggressive allegations or keep a dignified silence about all that? Should he talk about racism at all? And as someone who's always made a point of including other non-Christian faiths in his activities, do you think he'll mention them more than the Queen did? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll be watching closely along with many others and in time no doubt the King's speech will become a landmark moment in all of our Christmases for years to come. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. God save the King.